The new bed is finished, or at least the platform is. I'm going to add some drawers under it when I get back from RTR. Got it up a little bit higher off the ground. It's made out of Unistrut and Trex Composite, which is actually a wooden plastic. The whole thing is meant to be hypoallergenic. Uh, people with chemical sensitivities shouldn't, uh, shouldn't bother them. There's no off-gassing or anything. The back section folds up so I can put my water tanks behind it. Uh, when traveling, that keeps them from uh, flying around if I get in an accident. And then the top section goes right out to the door. So that gives me a little more room in the front. So we'll see how it works out on the trip to RTR and out west and uh, make modifications accordingly afterwards. Sunday morning at RTR. Actually, right outside RTR. You see, there's quite a few people, at least here. We're not even in the RTR space. Hey, John, this one's for you uh, out at the RTR. You're always asking me uh, what does it look like, I think, when uh, I've set up camp. So, camped out here with uh, Dr. John Leathers and uh, I've got my two chairs set up, just had a guest and uh, had a nice cup of tea and a long conversation, so that was nice. So right now I've got the van up on the levelers. The ground kind of slopes down here a little bit. Uh, it's hard to see, but slopes down about five inches probably with the length of the van. This is what it looks like when I'm living. So <laughs> this is reality. Uh, I've got the new bed here with the unistrut frame and the uh, composite boards underneath here couple of mattresses very comfortable I've been very pleased with it um, I've got right now the the light uh, summer sleeping bag is laid out on the bottom and then I use the heavy one on top of my electric blanket got pretty chilly here last night I think it was probably uh, 38 I'm guessing and my chair to, to sit in the back all my trash is stashed way back there under the seat um, let's just get ready to make some more uh, tea and coffee here so I've got all my oatmeal and soup and you know the usual kit that I bring with me crock pot over here I've got some pea soup I'm gonna try this time around uh, the alpha cool cooler is running right now off of the battery pack keeping everything chill in there uh, under here is the the potty bucket which I uh, haven't needed yet because I just ran ran out yesterday to get some stuff so use somebody else's bathroom but that's under there and so you want to see what it really looks like <laughs> All the stuff I use all the time I keep out, so I've got my coffee maker and my Pyrex for heating water and the immersion heater. Just keep them out because I use them a couple times a day. All my clean socks, uh, my electric heaters down there, uh, empty water bottle. Got to cart your trash out with you when you're on BLM land. And right now, batteries are charging. Probably not going to be able to see this, but charging off of solar, 19 degrees, uh, 20 volts roughly off the solar panel. And then the batteries are at 14 and I'm actually plugged directly into the battery pack with the Alpacool cooler and it runs periodically draws the batteries down and then they come back up when the Sun comes out so you could probably run indefinitely with the amount of solar I have on there when the Sun gets down a little bit in the sky I'll, I'll unplug the cooler and let it ride overnight uh, so what else let's see let's go around the back I've got my shiny side out on the Reflectix to cut down on the heat. Charging up the, uh, I used the portable lights the other night, so I'm charging those up in the sun. So in the back is uh, my water bucket, and I'll have to move that up to the front seat, but I didn't this time. Dirty clothes, pajamas, uh, spare water. I didn't carry the second water bucket this time because I went out and bought a bunch of spring water and I just picked up some extra ones. So instead of the bucket, I just threw those in the back. And it actually came in handy today because someone sent out a, a help request at the RTR and she had run out of water and she had a flat tire. So I brought water, but it turns out somebody else brought water. And then I used my Die Hard, which is down in the bottom there, and a plug kit, plugged her tire, reinflated it. So we got her, we got her up and going. Uh, that backpack actually gets moved over behind the seat at night. I just threw it up there so when I open the back it wouldn't fall out. And then coming around the side here, yeah, just that. 
I hardly ever open that side door when I've got everything in there. So that's what my campsite looks like. There's no fire ring because if I turn around, Doc's got a huge fire ring over here. So we're out there every night. No need for me to, to set a separate fire ring. So that's, uh, that's what it looks like at this RTR. And I'm sure it'll get even messier in there after a couple of days. I've been here a couple days already. Uh, I did pick up a couple of throw pillows in the back there. Those are new, uh, kind of, I tuck them down and I can rest my arm on them with a wider bed. So it's kind of like an extension of the bed, more than decor. And face cloth hanging up there, you know, usual. So that's that. Hope, uh, hope everybody gets out to the RTR at one of these points. I'm actually right outside the entrance at the site of the old RTR, uh, mainly because a lot of us didn't want to necessarily comply with all the rules they have inside the RTR. So it's about a three minute walk to get over to the main stage. All right, talk to you soon. supposed to drive up the front of that mesa there. You see a truck off in the distance. The road just kind of winds up. Apparently somewhere there's a way through there. overlooking Hyatt, Utah, Colorado River. Driving north on Route 95 today in Utah. Just left Glen Canyon Recreation Area. What a beautiful area. No picture, no video could do this justice, but what a gorgeous drive. Got a little earth, wind, and fire on the radio for the drive. Seems appropriate. Gary, what are you doing? <sighs> oh, now you're, now you're like, that dude's filming, so I'm not, yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna do anything. I'm <laughs> just gonna sit here. Conscious. What are you doing, bud? You in a box? You in a box? Yeah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> yes.